Hello, this is David here with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to episode 144 of A Day in the Life. Now, on Monday, I got ready for work, went outside, got in my car, put in the key, turned the ignition on, and nothing. Nothing. Well, some noises, clicking, things like that. My battery was dead. Well, you can't really complain because the car is eight and a half years old and it's on the original battery. So, you know, hey, I got a lot of life out of that battery. But this isn't a complaint about the battery. This is uh, what I did to solve the problem. And I used a lot of technology to do it. And it wasn't stuff that people wouldn't normally do it these days. First thing, I went in, plugged in my work computer, signed into work, and emailed my boss to tell them I would work from home today because of my car. Amazing. I can write a letter on my computer, send it via the internet to arrive on the computer of my boss, and I don't even know what computer is that. But the software knows. Pretty cool. Now, do you think that sending an email is amazing? Probably not. You probably think it's a daily occurrence. But just think about all the things it has to do to get there. Secondly, I had to get a battery. Well, I have a smart car, so it's not a normal battery. It's a 12-volt battery, but it's different. So I had to find the battery. Well, my car doesn't work, so I can't drive around and look for one. So I get most of my automotive parts at Pep Boys. So I went to the Pep Boys website, located the store closest to me, and searched for a battery for my car. Lo and behold, they stock one battery at Pep Boys that fits my car. And the local Pep Boys had one. So I just went on their website and said, okay, I would like that. I'll pick it up at the store. So I had a friend of mine come, and she took me to the store. I picked up my battery. I had taken out the other battery from my car so I could bring it in to swap it for it, because otherwise they charge you a charge. But when I was online to pick the battery, they said, if I type in this code, I'll get 35% off. So I did, and I did. I saved $65 just by typing in a code to my computer. Amazing. So, I didn't know where the battery was at first to take it out, so I had to look on Google to find out where the battery was in my car, because I know it wasn't with the engine. It was actually located under the passenger floor. So, I took it out. When I went back with the new battery, I put the new battery in, um, looked at the video on how to do it, put it all in, it's fine, car worked great, but, and I did all my work from home that day. Again, amazing. I accessed all the systems at work that I needed to get to from home. So, technology I use on a daily basis is pretty amazing. As a matter of fact, I had a number of conference calls on Monday, and I used my cell phone to do all of them. It was great. So, technology is really an everyday occurrence. We don't even think about it some of the time. But just today, when you're going around, you're using technology, you're answering your cell phone, you're on the computer, uh, I don't know, watching TV, there's a lot of technology in there too. Just imagine all it took to bring that to you. I always tell people, I'm glad I didn't have to invent this stuff, but I do enjoy using it. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. You have a good day.